Welcome back to the Crochet Karate. So as my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. This has been designed by Katherine Ang of Red Heart Yarns. And what we're going to be doing over the next week and depending on when you find this video of course is that we're going to do one motif and there's a total of seven of them. So we're gonna do seven days of snowflakes here on the crochet crowd. So we're gonna be starting off with the simpler ones and then get ourselves to the larger. The neat thing about this one is that the small motifs, the very small ones, there's ten of those but the rest of them is only two of each of the other sizes. So it makes it for a nice quick and easy project. So this is a very large uh, frame. It's 28 and a half inches by 42 and a half inches and I think that's pretty uh, cool. So I'm gonna be using Karen one pound today. I'm gonna use a four millimeter size G6 hook and uh, we're going to begin and we're gonna get ourselves started with our next snowflake. One more thing before I let you go and we go and do all these different motifs. On our website if you follow the link in the more information of this video you're gonna find all seven together in this same article. Also I have a couple tutorials on how to harden up snowflakes. So maybe you wanna make this into a decor um, like for your Christmas tree you can do that and we have all that. So without further ado now let's really begin. Let's start off with our first snowflake and this is going to be one of seven and what we have here is that we are going to just do three rounds. So you can see that we have rounds one, two and three. So once you understand this pattern it actually goes pretty good. So this is number one of seven. So I'm just gonna write that here. So here's what it looks like. You can see it's got a beautiful center piece just like so and then we're going to be making some spaces and then the final round of three is going to create this beautiful look. So I use different colors in my motifs here and the reason for it is that it was easier for me to differentiate. So you notice that I wrote gray and then dark fuchsia and etc. So um, it's a really kind of a neat idea and it's really a lot of fun and as I said Karen one pound size uh, a G6 uh, is the crochet hook a four millimeter and we're gonna begin now. So let's start the first round. Let's start our first round. I already have a slip knot on the hook. So we're going to chain six. So one, two, three, four, five and six. And I want you to insert the hook into the beginning chain. So all the way over the sixth one away and then yarning over pulling it through and through. Now when you do the next round, round number one, we're going to just treat the straggler so that it gets stuck underneath so you don't have to worry about any loose ends for that at the end. Let's move along to round number one. So in round number one we're gonna chain up one and I need you to do 12 single crochets into that same center ring. So just going in making sure the straggler is trapped in there as well. So let's just count to 12. So one single crochet, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and now we're running out of space so just because you're going around the loop you can just pull it. So just give it a pull. So that was nine and then ten, eleven and twelve. If you're not sure where to join it you can just simply count back behind the hook. So just start the first one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven and twelve and the twelfth one is where you're going to join with the slip stitch. Like so. And so that would begin round number one. Now if you've gone up over top of that straggler like you were supposed to you can just safely trim that now and get rid of that and round number one is now complete. Let's now move along to round number two. In round number two we're going to create uh, chain five spaces a total of six of them. All of these particular snowflakes have six sides. So we're just going to start off and we are going to just immediately chain five. So just one, two, three, four and five just like that and then what we're going to do is the one that is coming out of I want you to ignore it and I want you to skip the next one that you see. So this is the same stitch. This is the one you're gonna skip and in the next one we're just gonna have a slip stitch. So just going in and then yarning over pulling it through and through. So let's begin again. So just chain five. So one, two, three, four, five. Skip the next stitch and go to the next and slip stitch. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Skip the next stitch, slip into the next. So you can tell you're halfway around. You got three pieces in, like three spaces. So one, two, three, four, five. Skip the next one, slip stitch. And one, two, three, four, five. Skip and slip stitch into the next. Now this is the sixth and final space. So just one, two, three, four, five and slip stitch to the where the other one is coming out of. 
and that will complete that round. This is round number two. So you should have what appears to be six uh, chain five spaces and if you can't see that just reverse the video and try again and let's begin round number three the final round. So when we go to look at this the next uh, chain the chain five spaces are gonna have a little bit in it. Now once we do the first one each one of them are the same. So it's kind of like a mirror. So if you think about it like a six piece of uh, piece of pie. So there's six slices. Every slice is going to be the same. So let's begin and let's start on round number three. So we're gonna begin round number three by slip stitching into the next available chain five space. So just slip so through and through and now let's begin. So the first uh, slice is a little bit different because we're starting the round. So we're just gonna chain up one and now the rest of it's gonna be the same. So you're gonna have two single crochets first. So one and two. Then you're going to chain three. So one, two, three and then single crochet back into that same chain five space and now chain five. One, two, three, four, five slip stitch or sorry single crochet back into that same space. Single crochet and then chain three. So one, two, three and to finish this one just move things over if you have to and it's two single crochet. So let's review what the side uh, the piece continued uh, was. We started off with two single crochets. We chain three. We single crochet back in then chain five we single crochet back in. We chain three and then finished off with two single crochets. So let's start another side. Let's see if you got it. So you're gonna start off and you're gonna single crochet twice. So one and two. You're going to then chain three. So one, two, three and single crochet back into that space. Now you're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five and now just move things if you have to and then single crochet in and then chain three. So one, two, three and then single crochet twice to finish that off. I'm gonna go one, one more side with you okay. So let's begin. Two single crochets to start. Chain three and then single crochet and then chain five. One, two, three, four, five and then single crochet in and then chain three, one, two, three and then finish off with two single crochet. And that's all you gotta need, need to do per side. So you can see that it's really fulfilling it up really quite nicely. So what I want you to do is do that for the remaining of the six and I'll see you at the end of these six and then we'll just finish off and I'll show you how to just weave it in your ends. So once you get all the way back around you're just going to just come into the end and you're going to slip stitch in the very first single crochet to finish off. So let's just trim this yarn. Trim it long enough so you can put it into a tapestry needle. So just take this and just pull through to lock it. Now turn it over to the back side of it so that the front side is facing down and grab a tapestry needle and feed that. Now the trick to having no tails coming out is to go back and forth three times. So staying on the back side just glide it through some of the stitch work on the back. So just glide it through the first time. So one and this will be the second time. So through a slightly different path number two and finally back in the other direction third time is a charm. Done. So once you go back and forth three times it, it should never ever fall out on you. So you can harden this up if you wanted to to make this into a decoration for this particular wall mural. You'll need a total of ten of these but you can see make this as a gift topper as a special card um, anything that you would like to do it's a nice simple idea and as you just see me do it, it's really not that much work and they are, can be really quite awesome. So that's it for now. Have a good one and we'll hope to see you again on the next set of motifs that we have for you with this series. <music>